Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Welcome to the roof of Paris. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Remini. I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the beautiful city of Paris, France. And I'm here right now at the roof of the Tour Montparnasse, which is the highest vintage point you can get in Paris. And I'm here with a group of photographers, and I'm going to try something tonight that I want to share with you. I'm going to try to do the same framing at 24 millimeter, really wide, uh, with the exact same framing, and take a photo every 15 minutes, and then combine this into one photo where we see, uh, you know, the time going, going by from daylight to night. It might not work. Uh, or it might work. In any case, it's a fun experience and I'm sure I'm going to get some great photos. So join me in the roof of the Tour Montparnasse, mesdames et messieurs. So that's the photo that I got. Uh, you know, sometimes you get very lucky in the life of a photographer, and that night we got lucky because we had a great sunset. This is maybe the number 20 times I'm going up there, and think that's one of the best one I got. So I was trying this technique of, you know, in my camera I have a little cross in the middle, so I was trying to uh, get the Eiffel Tower to be really in the middle, and uh, you know, the lines on the cross on the horizons at 24 millimeter, I believe. I have reason to believe, yeah, at 24 millimeter so that every like 10 minutes I would get the same shot. And so that's what I did. So you can see, you know, it starts with the sun. And also, of course, I, you know, I did panos and I zoomed in, you know, so that I have like different options. That's like a pano that I did. Uh, this is um, another one. This one I did like just a basic retouching, you know, with my usual work for open up the shadows, bring down the highlights. And I just, you know, shot every 15 minutes and, uh, and then, of course, I zoomed in between the shots, but I always went back to that famous framing, you know, to because uh, I really wanted to, to to see if it was possible without staying for like three hours with the same tripod because it's not possible up there. There's so much people that you cannot just take a place and be there for three hours. I mean, you can, but, you know, you get screamed at. So what I did is I took a whole bunch of photo, but every once in a while I would go back and, you know, have that same framing. And I, I did a few tests before recording this video, and uh, basically what I'm going to take is I'm going to take three photos that I shot and retouch in Lightroom. So let me show you some of the basic retouching. But first, let me show you the photos. I'm going to filter by two. So that's the three photos that I, I I decided to use. So one at the beginning of the shoot, one toward the end, but the city is still not on, and one at the end where the city is on. And uh, the retouching is always the same. So uh, you know, basically, if you look at my settings here, it's just I open up the shadows, brought down the highlights in my whites and blacks, you know, a bit of exposure and contrast and uh, white balance. I, the white balance is a little different from one photo to the other. Uh, yeah, I, I went a little more toward the magenta at the end. You know, I just I gave the look to each photo that I want. And then what I did at the end is I select all three photos, right click, edit and open as layers in Photoshop. All right, so here I am in Photoshop. So the first top photo is the daylight photo. I mean, the beginning of the golden hour. And then we have sunset, and then we have the night photo. And so uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all three, and I'm gonna align them. So I'm gonna go to Edit, Auto Align Layers, Auto. Uh, but the first time I tried this, it didn't work. It didn't, I mean, it, it aligned the first two, but not the last one. So sometimes you have to you know, correct this uh, manually. So as you can see, when you align them, uh, the, you know, they are all on top of each other and now they are not completely, you know, we have to crop because we have a lot of pixel, pixels there that's not needed, but that's kind of cool, you know, but remember, you know, I didn't have the uh, being annoyed, being have to stay for three hours. I could walk around, do other photos, you know, and, and still get away with it. So the first two photos are perfectly aligned. You can see by turning off and on, but the second and third one are not perfectly aligned. And the best way to align them, you can just lower the opacity Okay, and then I can take the last one and I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna take the move tool and I'm gonna move this one there on top of it, voila. And I think that's gonna be good enough for what we're doing. So fit on screen. Now, of course, the um, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop it because now we have a lot of unnecessary pixel, but 
it's a 42 million file so there's still a lot of you know information there which i'm happy i'm um i'm cropping it with a 19 by 20 1080p uh constraint but it's not going to be a 19 by 1080p photo it's just a it's just the ratio that's going to be that, that way and maybe a little bit more a little bit yeah more sky and a little less city or not actually the reverse i think i'm going to go more on the city and a bit less sky so now i'm cropping this so now i have all photos well aligned oh i just need to change the opacity here you see uh, if i go from the so night sunset and day and the next thing i want to do is i want to try to sort of slice it in third so i'm going to go here i'm going to go to uh, view new guide and i'm going to type 33 percent so that's going to put a guide uh, at a third of the photo then i'm going to go again view uh, new guide and i'm going to type 66 percent okay so now i've got another guy that's there and i'm going to create a mask and i want to mask the first i just want to have that where the sun is so i'm going to make a uh, with the rank trigger marquee tool i'm going to make a selection here and i'm going to fill it with black so shift delete for the fill window and i'm going to go for black okay remember black conceals white reveals okay and then the next one i'm going to create a mask here and i'm going to take the marquee tool m for the marquee tool make a selection and i'm going to fill that with black so shift delete black okay and now we got you know golden hour sunset night and um so i can clear the guides now view clear guides uh and you know that's one version that i could do uh, so I'm going to save that version, and then I want to I want to try another version, see which one I like the most. Um, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go save as, and I'm going to call this one so Paris top uh, blur. What I mean by that, what I'm going to do is instead of having very sharp mask, I just you know I'm just giving it a try, see what's going to work the best. I'm, I, I want to blur it, so I'm going to take the mask and I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And uh, so now the blur, and I'm going to like 300 goes blurred. You see now it, the blur is very, uh, the transition is very smooth between the, the golden hour and the sunset. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Okay. And... Uh, I think I like this one a little more. I think I like this one a little more. So I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and uh, in re-import this one back into Lightroom. So for this, I'm gonna go back to Lightroom. So that's the first version that I have. I'm gonna cl right click. I'm gonna go to go to folder library because I saved the file uh, in that folder. It's not there. I have to synchronize the folder to get the photo back, and then I can really compare in Lightroom. So I'm gonna click on Add Import. Okay, and I'm going to go back to, so I'm going to put it like a three star on this one. I'm going to go back, go back to folder in library. And um, let's see here. So we have this one and we have this one. I'm going to put a three star. And uh, which one do I like the, the most? So I got, I'm going to put this in full screen mode. So that's with the lines and that's with the blur. Hmm, interesting. I think I like more the one with the lines. I don't know. Anyways, so you have both version up to you to uh, play around but it's a cool trick you know so you don't have to say you know you just choose your focal di uh, distance and you know remember like so i usually just go as wide as i could that was a 24 to 40 so i shot at 24 and uh, and then you know you're just using the cross that's inside there's always a middle cross inside of camera you know i i take something and uh you know a as a as an icon point and try to shoot every 15 minutes and it's always a cool uh, thing to do and uh, you know and then you can blend them this way so it's kind of like a, a time lapse in one photo all right guys i hope you like this this was a really a fun exercise if you are not subscribed to my youtube channels please click on subscribe so you can get my weekly videos sometimes i even do two per week for free uh, and you get a notification so please subscribe and if you do like this video please click on like also leave me in a comments what you want to learn from me i'll do my best to teach you I look at every comment. 
All right, I'm doing this series of videos. This is number, I think, 17 or 18 out of 30 videos, one video per day, to promote my movie coming out on the 16th of May, The Hollywoodans, a comedy about Hollywood, about reaching your dreams, where I play the lead actor, believe it or not, with hopefully a lot of very talented actors. The movie will be for release on the 16th of May. You can pre-order it now, and if you do, I would love you dearly, because it would be amazing we can get some attraction in the movie industry but you have to pre-order it now so if you ever want to do something for me please pre-order it also i have a new course on photoshop that just came out photoshop for photographer 2017 it's been out for a few weeks and i got some great great reviews on it if you ever wanted to learn photoshop this is the course you should check out mesdames et messieurs i will see you tomorrow